Good morning from Jeddah. Oh my goodness, how much happier do I look with a bit of sun on my face? So we're making a quick pit stop in the Emily Cannon travel tour to head to the Grand Prix this weekend and it's in Jeddah. I am so excited and I'm running a little bit, well not running late but I have to run downstairs for a briefing now but I have so much to fill you in on and yes finally a trip that I'm vlogging. We're on the new camera. I am here in Jeddah for the Formula One race. It's the second race of the season. It's actually a Saturday race this week which works out really well for me because I fly off from here to somewhere else on Sunday but let's head downstairs because because I just cannot be late. I'm back in the room and I've just been presented with my tickets. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I have paddock club tickets. I'm like freaking out, I can't even tell you. I feel like this is the bit that I didn't show when I went to Silverstone last year. I was very coy about it all because it was a surprise for my dad. And now I'm here and by the way, I did ask him to come. This was the one weekend that he isn't able to come because they're actually already going away. And I had to tell him, I was like, dad, I'm going to the race. And he was so upset. If you don't know my dad and I, this is like one of those things that we love to do together. So his hobbies are skiing and Formula One. And I've always completely indulged him in the Formula One side of things, but skiing I've recently picked up. I took him skiing maybe a month ago uh, because I'm really trying to enjoy it with him. But this is something that has been in our family I've grown up with. and. And I took him to his first race last year and now I am here unboxing my paddock club tickets in Cheddar. What the heck? Oh, this is so cool. Also, they are beautiful, aren't they? Come on. So these are my lanyards for each day. Uh, we have the Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm attending on the Friday and the Saturday. Thursday is today. Today. Today? Today. Uh, we are actually seeing the city today, which is going to be really interesting. But yes, these are my Planet Club tickets. I am so very excited. And I mean, this vlog is going to be a race vlog. So if that's what you like, then enjoy. If that's not what you like, and you just kind of watch me because you enjoy watching my life, let, let's see what you think. Maybe you'll enjoy it. So we've just come out of the museum and we are having a wander around the outside area. There is honestly so much to see inside. We had maybe like two hours in there and I genuinely could have stayed for another like four or five hours. I think it's really fascinating to see how people live and how they've lived over time. I, I find that very interesting and there was definitely a lot of that in there and a lot about just kind of like day-to-day -day life in different areas of Saudi which was really fascinating. We were learning a lot about the south about how people live in the mountains and how their life is different versus the life in obviously the cities but you know over time so it's been really interesting <laughs> yeah wait so this was like this yeah. oh my gosh. so we've just come to the old town and can you see this this is the original wall and this is one of the towers isn't that crazy? We're about to head into the old town, but yeah, we're on the edge right here, seeing the old wall. That's so crazy. It's also very warm, but it's not like too much. It's actually really, really nice. I'm loving it. What have you found? My new thing. I'm gonna walk around like this. How are you gonna get that home? Um, uh, I'll check it. Oh, carry on. <laughs> the whole way, on your lap. Yes, it's a personal luggage. <laughs> and you're holding it. And you're holding it. I'm enjoying it. What are you gonna do? How do you I feel? Do you know what? I should, yeah, this is so bad, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just having a little wander and apparently they have a cat feeding station and apparently it's a thing like the city is set up and all the cats will go with their little friends and eat together, which I'm not really a cat person, but even I find that really, really sweet. I'm sure you can tell from the light, but we've come to this rooftop and the sun is setting and it's just insane. Look at this, I actually can't. Look at our dinner view, that's kind of insane. <laughs>
Good morning. It is 6.02 a.m. We are up and off on a sunrise hike. I am layered up because it's probably going to be a little chillier, but I am so ready. You know I love anything like this. Love a sunrise, love a sunset, and yeah, we're going to do this magical hike. So it's called the Moon Valley hike that we're doing. I was looking at photos the other day and it looks incredible, but I really hope we get like a beautiful sunrise with like, you know, the purple sky. Oh, that'll be the dream. I mean, I literally had like maybe four hours sleep. I got up at five because if I'm meeting someone for six, I, <laughs> if I get up any later than an hour before, I'm just gonna be in my own like zombie world. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna get up. And I've actually had a really nice hour just to do, you know, whatever. And now I'm probably going to fall back asleep in the car, but it's fine. <laughs> We're doing a warm up. <laughs> they're Birkenstocks, they're, That's right, they're yeah, you can travel the world in those. Yeah, this is what we should have been doing after the flight. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, we're 10 minutes in. We've just done what he's called level one. We're now leveling up. And yes, I'm hiking with my Goyard bag because I did not bring a backpack and I don't want to carry my camera. You guys, this is serious. <laughs> What a dream. And also, it's actually International Women's Day today, which is so, firstly, incredible, but how empowering that we have woken up, we've done this hike, like we have climbed, <laughs> climbed rocks, not mountains, we've climbed rocks. And look, the, uh, the prize is so sweet. It's so beautiful. Okay, my friends, it's what you're all here for. <laughs> We're heading off to qualifying. I had some time to do whatever I needed to do. I am now here in my full Tommy fit. I'm very excited. And we are going to head to the track. I am, so you know that like butterfly, I don't know, when you've got something you really like, maybe it's a concert or something like that, you get that, or like pre-holiday butterfly feeling. I have that. Just super quick before I head out, shirt and trousers are both Tommy. I've got my green Sambas on, my little Celine Sunnies, and then I'm just taking a bag, of course. We are just pulling up at the track and I am so ready. There's like three cars in convoy, which is really fun. I don't know, I've shown you some of the groups so far, but it's a really, really lovely group. They're all people that I had actually never met before, which is really fun. And I love that we get to experience this together. It's gonna be so good. Thank you so much. Thank you. How excited are you? <laughs> I'm very excited. We're gonna get the giggles now. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing. Look at this world. Well is everybody hyped? Yes. Yes. Look at you! Love this! We're taking a golf buggy to the fan zone. We've just been told that there's a zip line over the track, which I so want to do. There's apparently like mini uh, like cars you can drive on a, like a mini track. They did say it looked like a children's thing, but I think they said adults are allowed, which I'm so here for. But apparently because we got here so early, there's no lines. So the people that we're with that are kind of over there right now, we're like, you should come right now. So we've hopped on a buggy and we're gonna go and see what we can do. Hi, going on? I was going to take you on and film it. And I'm so glad that I didn't because we got on there and I was like, oh, it's so casual. And then it just went, didn't it? And I was like, oh, like I'm so glad I didn't have my camera on me or it would have just fallen. But next up we're doing the zip line. It's also really cool just to be up high and be able to see everything. I really want to go on the big wheel next. So again, I can just kind of like get my bearings and see everything. <laughs> back at the buggy station and look at this sky it's so beautiful you know i love a sunset it's just making me so happy but we are heading now back over to the paddock club we had so much fun in the fan zone can you believe it? all the activities are free so you just don't have to pay for them which is so crazy so you can get on any of those rides you saw me do the zip line all of that is included which is really cool but we are heading off to go and get some food. For well, you guys, this is dinner. Look at this. I got steak. I think this is gnocchi. Oh, it looks incredible. 
So we just sat inside watching qualifying. This is my new friend Olivia. Hello. We just met on Instagram like an hour ago. Yeah, literally. We just, she messaged me, she's like, I'm here, do you want to meet up? I was like, it's sure. Like, I need a friend, please. <laughs> so nice. I love it when things like that happen. And now, yeah, we just sat together for the past like hour and it's been lovely. But in like 20 minutes, we are going to go and eat more food. Absolutely, the food is so, so good. good. I'm gonna go and get my second steak of the day. I will be doing the same. That was the first thing we bonded over. <laughs> so how are we feeling? Um, I mean, a little bit of a predictable result. Yeah, it's even like I feel like tomorrow is gonna be like. <laughs> Don't say it. We can't we say it. We can't say it. <laughs> we, can't say it. <laughs> we know it. I I feel like I definitely found that a little stressful. But, <laughs> look, you never know. You never know what's gonna happen tomorrow. We can predict. We can hope. We can hope. <laughs> hey, but we, we don't know what Ollie's gonna do, so. You guys, look at this. So good. Okay, for tomorrow, the plan is get here as early as possible so I can try all of the food. I've just watched them making the pasta, like, in front of me. I wanna come back and work my way along every single stall. Try everything. It's like a food market. Guys, look at this. Thank you so much. I got a little dessert to try. And I had options of toppings. I went for the sweet and sour one, which is traditional apparently. And I think it's like a donut-y. I don't know. Let's try it plain first. It's like a pancake. It's like a super thick, fluffy pancake with icing sugar. <laughs> so good. So good. So we're heading down to do our pit lane walk. It is late. It is nine, 9.50? 10.50. It's 10.50 p.m. And we are going to head down and do the walk. We could not. So we have basically just been sat in the paddock club for the past hour chatting, eating, drinking, and trying all the desserts, which is very fun. Really hard life, really hard life. What a way to spend a Friday night. I mean, I feel like you can't really get more in to it than right here, this, but like in the pit lane. Guys, look. <laughs> okay, this is insane. This is one of those things that I am never going to forget. I went on to my life. Wow. So you guys, there are the podiums. And then along here is where we are, right? Yeah, in here. So super close. Everything's being put to bed, ready for tomorrow. Oh my goodness, that's so exciting. That's a special one. That's really cool that they yeah, did that so quickly. Ernest is on the tour truck and he's about to leave without us. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks for having us. That includes your friends, partners, loved ones. Don't push them over the side. Welcome, everybody. We were like, make use of all the space. Any Aston Martin fans? Oh, I've done yes, the rest of the grid. Uh, my name's is Tristan, I'm a racing driver from the UK. Oh, Woody oh, Edward, I've never been nice. to Formula uh, 1. Only five kilometres to go. Yeah, and a lot of these people you'll see running the circuits, be mechanics, team members, you know, their only time to get out and do a bit of exercise is now. What was your, what was your lap time uh, on uh, Wednesday? Oh, it was a DNF, I crashed when I did my run, so oh. not very good. Yours is better. I... <laughs> so tired. 5am I got up and it is now 1.30 in the morning but I have had the most insane day. It has been so much fun. I just, I've had those like butterflies all day and it's a, a, a loss for words. I can't wait for tomorrow. I mean it's, it's not even going to be a patch on tomorrow and today just couldn't have even leveled up anymore. I genuinely have had the best time. I'm here with the best people. Everyone that's here is so lovely and Olivia who I met today, again so lovely and actually I met so many people today that just you know when you just like randomly meet people and it's like oh my gosh you're so nice so yes I'm feeling very fulfilled very excited and tomorrow I'm actually going to head 
to the track as early as possible because I want to show you a bit more of the paddock club and there was all of those food areas that I didn't get to try so it was really nice today for me to be able to go and kind of scope it out and then tomorrow I'll be able to show you but did you know all of the hospitality staff with the paddock club travel with them the girl that served us today she was so familiar and I, I just she must have served us at Silverstone I don't I maybe she didn't or maybe I just saw her at Silverstone but yeah they travel to each country which is I think is crazy I'm so fascinated by the whole setup behind Formula One let alone you know the actual sport itself tomorrow is going to be so interesting it's so exciting that ollie is getting his debut and it was so crazy seeing that they changed all of the ferrari signs and they had you know his face everywhere and it's definitely going to cause a buzz that i feel like wasn't there before i think everyone's just really excited and really rooting for him so i'm just i'm really excited for that element as well for now i'm going to head off to sleep and i'll see you not too bright and early in the morning because i'm a tired girl good night it is race day i'm literally about to head off to the track now i need to go and find everyone but i am so excited i have my red dress on which <laughs> don't get confused i'm still supporting mercedes but I love the dress. We're figuring out our POA. We're trying to figure what time we need to be back here to do the pit walk because obviously we did the pit walk last night but it was dark. The pit walk today is at 5, I think 5.25 or 5.45. So it's going to be light and obviously all the cars won't have been put away. We're doing some arts and crafts. The plan is, so you paid, paid so much money but the plan is to write it like, you know, Habibi, want to join me for a dance move. <laughs> this is where I have to do arts and crafts. In the paddock club. So these are all the food stations actually inside the paddock club. There is some outside as well that I kind of showed you last night actually. But this is where everyone's getting their dinner. The steak one is so popular. A pasta which looks so good. I might actually get this. This is chicken. And then at the end here we have a lamb which looks so good. You guys, we're doing a food crawl. We're on dessert. I'll put the whole video on TikTok so you can see it. But the, I asked the guy to make me an ice cream. I didn't mind what. And he's done salted caramel and strawberry cheesecake, which is so random, but it's so good. Mm. We have like two more left, two more stalls. We've done pizza, we've done Mexican, pasta. So good. We're walking through the pit lane wall. Here we go, we're heading in. It's like running for a concert. It's like who's gonna get their photos first with nobody else there? <laughs> Literally got in here and then stopped for like 10 minutes because the drivers were about to walk out and they did and it was great and we we're very close. And literally I'll put the video I got here. We got to see them all so close, which is so cool. And I think you can really like read people's energy when you're that close to them and they were all so calm. Like I, I don't know how they do it. It's almost time. We've just come up to the roof terrace to try and find a spot. Oh, they're running, they're running. <laughs> I don't know why they're running, but they are running. <laughs> Should we be running? I think we'll be fine. I think we'll get a good spot. It's only like one person deep right now, so I'm sure everyone will squeeze along and it will be fine. But I've got butterflies, like genuine actual butterflies. I can't believe we're about to watch the race and I can't believe we're about to watch it and it's warm <laughs> it's March. He must be bored up at the front, driving round, laps on end. So we had this conversation and let us know what you think. Do you think he does it, finishes and thinks, heck yeah, smashed it? Or do you think he finishes and he's like, well, I've got to go and do podium now and I've got yeah. to go and say, 
you know, that was that was the same as last time. You must get bored of telling people how it feels to win a race. Yeah, but either way, insane. I mean, I would say, I, I feel like we have to talk about Ollie next, really. Yeah, of course. I mean, he did so well. Six points on his debut. He beat Lewis. He beat Lando. I don't even think you can, you know, in that scenario, because he's young, it's very easy to be like, bless him, he did so well. No, no, no. He just did well. Yes. Yeah. And... Yeah, just objectively did well. Yeah, and I, I don't know if you guys saw, but there was videos of his dad, and he was being asked, you know, like, what, you, what your expectations, what your hopes, and his dad simply just said, nothing. Yeah. Whatever he does is is great, and I would say he's had a cracking result. He absolutely has. I've just said to you, that now puts him in the top 10 drivers for the overall championship standings. And I know we're only two races in, yeah. but I still think but that's still, quite impressive. On paper, for his debut, yeah. like, that's mad. He's done so well. Yeah, I mean, we could talk for hours about this, but we do have a concert to get to. We've got Alicia Keys, <laughs> we've got Pharrell Williams, so we will continue awesome. this debrief, uh, probably back in the room, but we are hyped. <laughs> Good morning, I'm just finishing up packing because I have to leave my room in about four minutes. But oh my goodness, what an incredible few days. It was just so much fun. So like, I've loved exploring Jeddah so much. I had no idea what to expect coming to Saudi Arabia and I have been so pleasantly surprised that it's it's left me curious. I'm so curious to see what the rest of the country is like because obviously Jeddah is just one city. And then getting on to the Formula One, oh my goodness. I know I barely filmed anything in the race, I just want to say before anyone's like, Emily, why did you not show us? You can watch that on TV. I want to show you the bits that you can't necessarily see, which is, you know, the fan zone, being in the paddock club. I feel like you don't really get an experience of what those are like from just being a fan and watching the sport on TV. So hopefully uh, you got to see a bit of, you know, a bit of something that you don't usually get to see just watching it on TV. But my dad was on an airplane when the race was on. So I actually haven't even had 10 minutes to have a catch up with him and discuss, but I will be there on holiday, which is very exciting. I have met so many lovely new people this weekend. I am full of so much love and excitement. Obviously, it's International Women's Day, and seeing how the women in Formula One were celebrated was really cool, and actually being there, it's it just makes me passionate that there's got to be more of that and to continue that. It just makes me feel a kind of way because I think obviously it's so important and seeing the Formula One community champion that, I just think it's it's so cool. But for now, my friends, I am going to have to love you and leave you because I literally need to go and check out of this hotel right now because I fly to Italy for a work shoot for the next little while, which I will be vlogging. So I really hope you've enjoyed this vlog. If you have, massive thumbs up will go a long way. I am exhausted, but the nails have survived the weekend, even the hike with my Goya bag which I shouldn't have done and well no I should have done the hike but I shouldn't <laughs> I shouldn't have had the bag I didn't have another option but then I found my tote and I was like maybe I should have taken the tote bag but yes heading to Italy now for shoot the the fun the fun weekend <laughs> has been completed, it's back to work, which uh, very much cannot complain because we are heading to Italy. So if you want to see that, make sure you follow along. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, a thumbs up goes a long way and I will see you on the next one. Goodbye.